a little different to most. It's more of a family club. It's, it's more traditional, and, and they're back. The glory days are coming back for the uh, for the Chugan Club, and they are really performing. We're not too far away from the under-19 female single ski title. The first of our finals in the finals package will run through the female and male single ski, open female and male single ski, surf races, board races, irons and taplin relays as well. Final instructions from our starter. This is going to be another tough one to pick because we've got a couple of girls who do the kayaking thing in this one and a couple of girls who are very, very good. And one girl you spoke about who could possibly win a 19 and open title, Jazzy Raywood, first on the start list. Yeah, Jazzy was definitely one I had in mind. I know it's a big ask and a, and a lot to expect for our, our age group more. athletes to, to jump up and potentially be in the mix for an open. But, um, yeah, I think of, of, of the few names that might be a contender, Jasmine Raywood would definitely be up there. Um, Alana Picton, also a strong paddler from Karawa. Um, we've got Met, Met Caloundra, Surface, of course, Southport, strong on the craft. Um, Eva Parrish, Surface Paradise. Uh, Grace Gilbert as well. Yeah, Alyssa Bailey as well. Comes from that kayaking background. And Chelsea Jens, big, 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 big performer when it comes to the ski race. So very, very good there. Dakota Luke, good kayaker as well. Watch out for her. She does good things on the kayak. So there's a couple of real guns in this one in terms of ski paddling. They've come from that kayaking background. And they... You'd have to say there's probably four favourites in this, and it could go any one of those four ways, but it wouldn't surprise me if somebody jumped out and really got a result in here as well. And you know as well as anyone, you've been in these finals, ski race finals before, at the highest level, that sometimes you can do everything right and it can just not be your day. If you don't get the right line that's not as manoeuvrable as a board or in the swim, you've just got to take what you're given sometimes. And it's tough to handle, but we're about to find out who is the best ski paddler in Queensland in the under-19 women. Yeah, absolutely. I like the end that um, Dakota Luke has got there. I prefer to be down this inside end rather than we can see Jasmine Raywood has drawn alley number one. So unless she gets a really clean start, yeah. um, she's going to be a bit wide around the can. So not that that's much inside because anything can happen in that wave zone before they get to the cans, but I definitely prefer to be on that inside of the start line rather than way out wide. Yeah, Rihanna Copsey as well from the... Uh, Maruchidor Club, I wouldn't count her out Charlotte Davey there as well so some absolute guns in this one so this is going to be very, very interesting to watch, Eva Parrish 20, uh more noted as a swimmer, but very good ski paddler, 29th overall in the ski series at Summer Surf, so watch for her there. It's going to be a very interesting final. Getting off to a clean start is so important, and especially when this inside gutter, there's so much water movement. It's deep, it's shallow, it's here, it's there, and getting a clean start is going to be difficult for the starter. Off and away, we get the jump in the centre of the screen there, an absolute fly. Maybe Sophie Wall closest to us, absolutely going like she's been shot out of a gun. Jens inside her goes to the lead, so Wall and Gents side by side. Raywood got off reasonably clean on the top oh, side as well. So, up on the top of the yeah, screen. Yeah, clipped, clipped again and still Sophie Wall in the centre of the screen there. Maybe Alyssa Bailey has got off to an absolute fly there. Look at her go flying out to sea. She's got a half ski length lead at the moment. Looks very good and very, very strong. Yeah, Sophie Wall there up on the inside, bottom of the screen there. And as you said, Alyssa Bailey from Northcliffe, the, uh, the best of the uh, field at the moment. I think that might be Leah Pilkington from the Alex Headland Club just on screen at the moment. But um, as you predicted, Chelsea Jantz making her way back into this race now. Sophie Wall from Chelsea Jantz, Alyssa Bailey there as well. Plenty of work. Eva Ashworth in the centre from the Met Caloundra Club. Here comes Jasmine Raywood at the top. Here comes Jasmine Raywood starting to wind up. Bottom of the screen, Dakota Luke from the... Dickie Beach Club up on the Sunshine Coast. So that's your top six at the moment. So three from the Sunshine Coast, three from the Gold Coast as they go around. It's Sophie Wall from Alex, Chelsea Gents, Alyssa Bailey, Dakota Luke, Jasmine Raywood, and Eva Ashworth, the top six there. There's plenty more girls left in this one that can get involved. Charlize Memphy from the Burley Heads Mowbray Park Club. Nikita Nissan Saren as well. Don't count her out. She's trying to work her way into it, as is Georgia Askew. But as they go out to this first turn, 
turning can. It's the South Australian turned Queenslander Chelsea Gents from Southport into the lead. Yeah, Chelsea Gents doing the best of it at the moment. You can see some smart paddling there back from Jazzy Raywood. She was so far wide and she's just had to sit on the wash yeah, of our Northcliffe competitor there, but um, tucking in wide and looking to maybe sneak around the inside there if she can just get a break. She's looking for one, so... Um, I don't think Jasmine's out of this race by any means at this stage. Yeah, she's doing a fantastic job. She's the under-17 Australian junior ski race champion from last year, but it's a big step up into this age group. Jens leads on the way home. Wall is there as well. So is Alyssa Bailey. Dakota Luke has the inside run on around the can. There is Jasmine Raywood on the green and the pink. She'll start to wind up. Memphi out the back as well with a burly cap. Don't count her out. She's going to get down one. Memphi will come and join this group as well. Eva Ashwood's on. Nikita Nissen Seren. Two, four, six, seven on that lead way. Jens has gone off the back. Jens has let the wave go. Yeah. <laughs> big mistake from our early leader decided to sit up and let that one wash underneath her and I think that's going to cost her a medal in this one. Alyssa Bailey closest to us. Memphi Wall, Raywood there. Dakota Luke, Nikita Nisseran, Eva Ashworth at the top. Look at her go through that deep section. This might be a distinctive moment in this race. Yeah, top of the screen there. We had seven down to three. Three of our paddlers have been able to pull down that wave and, and you're absolutely right. I think a big mistake oh, letting Ashworth. that wave go. Three down to Memphi. one. Memphi. Memphi gone, Ashworth gone as well. Oh, she's looking around kicking herself. Nikita Seren out in front at the moment. The international, have a look at this. Big skills at the moment, working very, very hard. Alyssa Bailey's coming in the background as well. So is Dakota Luke. Alyssa Bailey's got a paddle over the top. She's going to try and sneak on the inside, but it'll be a Northcliffe one and two. Maybe Memphi, despite losing it, will grab the bronze. Northcliffe will celebrate tonight. You can see they can't believe it. Nikita is in Seren. Alyssa Bailey, one and two. Charlie's Memphi in three. And our early leaders, all of them crossing the line now outside of the medals. Outside of the medals. Well, that was um, just a race on skill there and so well deserved by our winner from Northcliffe. Um, you can see how tricky it was to hold those skis straight. Plenty of girls slewing on those skis and only one was able to hold it at the end. So um, very much deserved there for our winners and we can still see some of our backmarkers negotiating yeah, that get finish across. line. <laughs> Getting around that flag is the most brutal part of ski racing. When you miss it, you miss it. You might as well give it up. Craig Holden is on the beach with our our winner. She was there or thereabouts the entire race, but skills pay the bills at the end of the day. Yeah, thanks, Josh. Your skills do pay the bills, and she had the best skills on that last wave, so congratulations to Nikita, all the way from France, but uh, racing for the Northcliffe Club this weekend. Talk us through that winning wave. What was going through your mind, Nikita? Three of you coming down it, and you held it the best. What were you thinking about? Um, Just skills, paddling fast, keeping the speed to keep straight the ski straight and just like yeah holding it you did amazingly well because three of you girls all going for the gold medal you were able as you said to get that ski speed up paddle away in front of that wave hold that rudder straight so you did exceptionally well coming from france how are you the, the waves on the gold coast oh i just love it i love Getting through the surf and holding your, like, this, actually, I wasn't, like, I hadn't the best start, but I had a wave from the can, and then it's just, like, about paddling through that gutter and holding it all the way in, so. Uh, well, you did amazingly well. Once again, congratulations. Have you got any more races coming up today? Yes, I'm actually in all the finals and the tapping relay, so it's going to be a nice day. <laughs> oh, well, that's amazing. Good luck, particularly all the way from France, doing fantastically well to be here on the Gold Coast. So good luck in your rest of your events today, Nikita, and awesome job there. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, what a performance there from the international. A little French flavour down here on the southern end of the Gold Coast. And Nikita Nizazarin wins the 19 women's ski race there.